activation in life, rebirth. As we know, the dehydrated organism is like a frozen skeleton. It has got its DNA with all the genetic codes, but it is not living. It cannot reproduce. So therefore, moment water falls down, it provides hydrogen bond to ATGC, the double helix of DNA. It gets activated and love, life comes in picture and starts reproduction. Similarly, human beings in that case of whether it is buried, it is decomposed or it is burned, the DNA, the genetic code is there in the soil. On the day of judgment, creator of the universe will produce, will reproduce him again in the same form as he was. That is called rebirth. Rebirth does not mean that it will take birth from mother's womb. It means that after death, he will be again brought into life for the questioning and answering for the reward of heaven or hell. So, in short, Quran is talking about this fact well in advance. Chapter number 43, verse number 11. Allah sends down water from the sky in due measure, gives life to the dead earth. Similarly, you will be brought forth. In chapter number 50, verse number 11, Allah declares that he sends the water from the sky, gives life to the dead land, that is the dead city. And then, similarly, you will be brought forth from your graves. It is found if we presume that all the human beings, since the inception of Adam, peace be upon him, if there are 10 billions, and their genetic codes, single individual genetic code is just one micron. If all the genetic codes are collected all together, it cannot fill even the cup of tea. Remember, all these are preserved in the earth, in the soil. On the day of judgment, Allah will recreate, reproduce. That is promised on him. Allah declares in the glorious Quran, chapter number 75, Surah Kama, verse number 3 and 4, does man think that we can assemble his bones? Yes, we will join together even the fingertips. Men's will be created again for the questioning and answering.